Yeller, it's Alex Rozier here, and it's Thursday. You know what that means. It's time for the Weekly Growth Series, Episode 4. And yeah, that's right, Episode 4. We're one month into this, one month after I posted my first video breaking down my family's budget and how we earn and spend our money. And it's been a crazy ride ever since. We have a 10% week-over-week growth number that we're trying to hit. That's what this series is about, the weekly growth series. Every Thursday, sometimes Friday, I post a video recapping what happened that past week and how we did trying to get to the 10% growth. Last week, we failed miserably. We got a little bit more than 5% growth week-over-week week last week with just seven subscribers. This week, we did it, guys. We got 20 three new subscribers for a total of 154 subscribers. Hi, all the new people. Thank you for joining us. But those growth numbers is more than 17%, which is awesome. Super excited about the progress. Um, a couple things that happened this week. It's just gonna be a quick rundown of the things that worked, the things that didn't. First off, we hit our content uh, goal with three videos last week one of which the tour of our apartment did particularly well from a viewership standpoint and drove the majority of the subscribers this week. And so I think the takeaway there is people love an interesting story um, and just an insight into a person's life. And that's just what that apartment tour gave them, um, them being you guys. So hopefully let me know down below if that interpretation is right. Uh, scaling that is an interesting take for me personally as I try to grow through this process of growing the YouTube channel and how, what that means from a content creation and product iteration as I've described in the first video of the weekly growth series that that's what this series is all about it's really an insight into growing this channel um, the the from a marketing standpoint as far as distribution goes uh, the primary takeaway was Twitter replies Kind of a different one, uh, but basically I went on Twitter, searched people that were talking about uh, San Francisco apartments and living in San Francisco, and responded back with offering my help trying to find apartments, using the video as a reference to, look, we're living in San Francisco, this is what we do, This and offering any tips that I have picked up along the way around how we found the apartment for 10% below market rate. I will make a dedicated video on that in the future, but the Twitter DM, or not DMs, replies seemed to be very effective on a platform which was, I hadn't gotten any traction from in the past. Anytime I post my own tweets, I get no replies, no favorites, which is totally fine. Um, but basically I had written off the Twitter platform as probably not a good growth channel, but here we go. And I believe it drove some new subscribers. Let me know if you guys subscribed after seeing, uh, getting a reply from me uh, via Twitter. And thank you, and I hope you actually enjoy the channel. Lastly, uh, I also posted on Reddit again, that video of, of the 400 square foot apartment, family of three living in 400 square feet, and one of the Reddit posts took off on Simple Living, I believe it was, the Simple Living subreddit. I posted on three subreddits, Cozy Places, San Francisco subreddit, and Simple Living. Um, since I posted it on three, my Reddit account got suspended. So there's another thing I learned this week. I wasn't aware that that was the thing that I shouldn't be doing, posting on multiple subreddits, the same piece of content at, the, at relatively the same time within half an hour. So we're gonna learn from that, not gonna do that in the future, but it'll be interesting because what's helpful by posting it on three subreddits at once is you see what communities actually like the content. I tried to pick communities that I thought the content fit to, you know, San Francisco, the apartments in San Francisco, cozy places. Our apartment is tiny and cozy and there's a, a loft that kind of fits some of the content that has done, that did well there in the past. And, um, and then simple living. I mean, obviously we're living simply right now. So even with the suspension on the Reddit account, and honestly, it's just a three day, day temporary ban just to make sure that I'm not some spammer going rampant and ruining content on their site. Um, even without that, it's annoying because I wasn't able to respond to comments via Reddit because I'm suspended and people were commenting on the different threads, asking questions, and I like to engage with people there. But even so, it was cool to see them get picked up organically and do pretty well there. 
And then beyond that, I did do a little bit of outreach to, to, to traditional media, different blogs and news sources, trying to reference the salary video as well as the, um, as well as the living in 400 square feet, feet video, but got no responses there. There I was, ref I was reaching out to people who had talked about the cost of, of living in San Francisco in the past and uh, you know the cost of housing, different things like that, and sending them our story saying, hey, maybe this would be interesting to your viewers uh, or to your audience. But again, no traction there, so maybe the story isn't compelling enough yet. So I'll, we'll keep playing with different stories and different audiences to, and how the pitch um, execution on the pitch side. But for now, I think the biggest growth driver was actually on those Twitter replies and then just natural uh, posting to my social, my existing community, you know, my friends and family just joining the subscribers. But as always, if you guys are enjoying the content, these weekly growth series aren't doing very well, so I'm not sure if I'm going to move them to a different channel just because maybe not everybody here is really interested in the growth of this channel specifically. Um, but if you are, comment down below. Let me know if you're interested in this series and if you would watch it if I moved it to a different channel. I just don't want to hurt the uh, viewership numbers and the engagement numbers. If these videos are performing poorly, then it might be an indicator to YouTube that, that people aren't interested in all of the content on the channel. So that's something you have to monitor closely and the U YouTube algorithm will be one of the primary growth channels um, on growing for, for growing this channel. So it's important to monitor that closely and ensure that your content is getting good engagement, which means you, the audience, is enjoying the content and uh, that it's on the right channel for the right spot. So that's it for this week. Hope it's been helpful and we'll see you next week.